Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Benchmark Radio Podcast. Today, we're doing a special episode. We really are, Mark. Where are we, Mark? Right now, we're in the Benz truck, the old F-250. Yeah, she's chugging along. Chugging along, driving where she wants to go. She loves it here on the back country roads, going Ooh, I like into that the Marky. sunset. I like that, Marky. The sunset after a beautiful day, a beautiful spring Wisconsin Midwestern day. It really, dude, it was a great, beautiful day. It was an amazing day. Tomorrow is supposed to be 70. Supposed to be 70, go to church, you know, do a, good a little, day. do a little work outside on the farm. Not really, there's some clouds in the sky. Today's sunset wasn't as good as some of them, but there's some really good sunsets where like orange and pink and oh, that yeah. kind of stuff, you know? Oh, yeah. So uh, we are actually on our way there's, to dinner old, right there's now. There's an old truck. What were you saying? We're on our way to dinner right now to Joe Mama's in Hubertus. We had to take a little detour because a uh, fire truck was blocking the road. Oh, yeah. Don't want to mess with that scene. I want to think so, and it was not. But, uh, Mark, have you been to Joe Mama's before? I have not. I've driven past it a couple times, and it looks like a cool place, but I've never set foot inside the it's establishment. A, it's a good bar, uh, real good food. I, I always get their Mac Attack burger, so it's a mac and cheese burger. Ooh, I might have to try that. Yeah, or they got, there's their normal mac and cheese is good. They usually have like a mac and cheese of the week. That's true. Hopefully they got some. Well, there's an old Bronco. Oh, yeah? Lots of people out. You can really tell. That Wisconsin, Wisconsin has nice days, but like after the winter, the spring, today every like everybody was out. You go, oh, you yeah. drive by. There's old grandmas out doing gardening, and you know. Oh yeah, I mean you gotta take the days while you can. Everybody's just enjoying them. So there's enjoying only so many themselves. weekends that are nice like this, especially this time of year. Exactly. Well, the last couple of days it was it was really windy. Oh yeah. Yesterday was real windy. It was really. It was like it's nice out. The sun was out. It had to be like 60 degrees, but with the wind, it was like not that enjoyable. But you when, know I, when I got my harness on, uh, dude, everything just is hotter and tighter. And yeah, you'll have those on those bigger jobs. Yeah, safety first, right? Is this is that this isn't it? This is Sloppy Joe's. No, right? this is Sloppy Joe's. Yeah, we're not um, here. Are we? Yeah, we had to take a no. I'm sloppy trying to Joe's and Johnny figure Manhattan's. out my way because we had a, we were trying to take yeah Q. Take, take a left here and you should be on. Oh, Q. this will shoot us to Q. If you keep going there, you'll get to 164. Oh, little oh. camera problem. Sorry about that. You guys had a wild ride there. We don't have a mount yet. Maybe we're, open it up. There we go. We're getting to that. We're going to get a mount one of these days. But you know what? Everybody's got to start somewhere. Right? So we're trying something new, a little, little on-the-road potty. It's better than good. It's done, as I like to say. Yeah. It's like, who cares if it's good? As long as it's done and it's up there. It's know, done with, and then good you can enough always, for who it's for. You can always improve on it. Exactly. Good enough for the girls' mark dates. Yep, which hasn't been many recently. Yeah. A little, little bit of a dry spell. A little, little, little dry spot. <laughs> little dry spell. Praying for some rain. You know, I guess praying for rain is better than praying for a cop for a crop failure, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Ten four. So, oh, a boat for sale. A little fishing boat. We should, we should go fishing tomorrow. You want to buy a fishing boat? No, I don't need a boat. Why? You know how cool that would be. You know what they say about boat owners? Their favorite days are the day they buy the boat and the day they sell the boat. <laughs> That's probably true. I suppose. We're going, this is actually by oh. Lake 5 here in Wisconsin. Yeah. It's a kind of a cool lake. It's small. There's a, the county line road runs right next to it. It's a little weird. Like, it's really tight there, and, but. We're taking a weird I don't way, know if too. I'd, I don't know if I'd want a house on Lake 5, would you? No. I don't think so. Too many people. Same like Big there's Cedar. Lot of, there's too a lot many of ice people. fishers there, too, on Lake 5. Yeah. And, uh, and Big Cedar. So, uh, should we, how, how long before we come out with merch, do you think? I don't know. We can do a poll. Will you buy our merch? Yeah, so like, or will we you were, not buy it? We were thinking that we want to make stuff that we would use, but also stuff that shows that you support the business. You know what I mean? Right, right. And so it's like, we're going to create like shirts with like maybe our logo on them and then like our slogan. We got to come up with a slogan. Right. Well, I mean, we can do like more of like a graphic tee setup. Yeah. Kind of, like, or, like, with, like, phrases or whatever. But I think to start out, we do, like, a limited edition, never one and done, yeah. you know? Like, under 500 followers or, you know what I mean? Something well, I mean, like we that. can, yeah. Oh, and uh, this is just coming off the hip, but follow our TikTok because we post a lot of stuff on there, a lot of polls. Like, in the last podcast, I was talking about working in the rain the other day and making a muddy mess, and I posted yeah. a video clip from it. So uh, We like, did a, we did a 
cheese curd review. A cheese curd review. So, and I don't think I don't know why I rated those a seven eight. Now that I th- watch it and think back, I was like, those are maybe like a six eight. They were not a seven eight. We gotta do. Oh, we we could do Culver's next. Yeah, Culver's curds are not that good. They used to be. Yeah, they changed the recipe. They did change the recipe. That really grinds my gears. Uh-uh. They got their ranch isn't that good either. Jumbo's in no. West Bend has good ranch because it's in it's house made. Or it's yeah, I like it. Where it's like, like yeah, house chunky. Made. Dairy Queen has house made ranch too. Yeah, I like dairy. When I, I used to work at Little Switzerland, and uh, they would I remember always, that that was a wild. They one. would always make we made house made ranch, and that was it was delicious. That's how I, that's how I gained my little donut I got. But uh, oh, yep. Uh, Sorry about that. Yeah, ladies we're and we're going in the glaciers. We're and going Richfield. in the in the good good old Kettle Moraine Forest. Yeah, here in the neck of the Kettle Moraine Forest. In the it's beautiful out, even though it's dead season. I know we got the sunset going. We got the LEDs shining. Too bad we didn't have a campfire burning. Anyways, about the merch though, I've never been on this. No, I'm sure I have been. On yeah, this you've road. been on this road. I just don't really know what's going on. Anyways, yeah. So uh, we want to make merch. And we want to make it something that we would use, you know what I mean? So it's like, but also something that support and that looks cool. So like Ben and I have a lot of quotes and just like stupid sayings. So we're going to try and hire a graphic designer that's going to make it. And then we're going to pr- try and print it. There's a Minuteman press right on Pilgrim Road in Germantown. I, yeah, I think, I think it'd be, be I think it'd be kind of cool to print it locally than to do that custom ink crap. Yeah, no. But, uh, yeah, we're going to try and do that. So let us know if you would buy our merch. I know that it obviously has to be cool for you guys to buy it. but And it's all going to be at cost because, like, we're not, like, you buy the shirt for $8 or, you know, however much it costs to make it, that's yeah. fine. Like, we don't need to take any money off of that. You know, you're representing the brand, you know, for the first couple we make. It's just to know that you guys like it. But, no, we could do hats. I'm thinking hats and sweatshirts to start. I think it would be cool if. Do you, like if we made charcuterie boards and sold them? Yeah, we should do that because they're not a that little, hard to make. Little I've, uh, branding iron. Yeah, we could get a branding iron and put our logo or something like that in there. Oh, watch out! Stop sign, and it's not a four-way. But I uh, know no, then we could do that and then sell those, and then you guys could like something that's useful, but you're supporting local and. I do kinda... not know why I took that. Now we're in Hillside. I don't know why I took scenic. I forgot scenic loops it doesn't go through. But, uh, now we'll get through. Whoa! Oh, that's a pothole. Jeepers Those Christ. are a monument, I think. Mon- monument. Did you see they fixed the potholes by Menards there on Lilac or Maple Road? Oh, they did? Yeah. By the stop sign there. It's still, it's still bumpy as all get out. I go down that road and I feel like my whole truck's fucking falling apart. Duh, duh, duh. I feel it like, is. I feel like Toe Bader uh, in, uh, when he goes down McQueen's Road. Yeah. <laughs> whenever, whenever I go down that road. Yeah. But uh, no, a buddy of mine actually lives over here. Oh, yeah? Yeah, he's actually going to college in... New York. He's New gonna be, York. He's going to be a shipbuilder. Shipbuilder. It's a very niche. That's what they say is what I've always heard is that if you want to charge whatever you want or like if you want to be a, you need to be special. You need to be specialty in order for you to be the best, if that makes sense. So it's like if you want to be the best lawn and landscape company, you have to define a niche for yourself and make yourself unique. You know yeah, what I mean? Right. Where it's like I, my cousin out in North Carolina, he does. He has a whole landscaping company, and they use all um, battery powered lawnmowers, trimmers, everything, and that's his niche. And like, there's specific customers that want that, so he's able to quote unquote charge what he wants. You know what I mean? Right. Right. Same thing with this guy. Like, he's going to be a shipbuilder, and like, yeah, that's crazy. I've never heard anybody doing that. But if you get in that niche and you be, you make yourself the best of your area. Then exactly. you can kind of charge whatever you want. So, like, your area, like, let's say, well, you don't need to do anything, like, crazy big. Like, oh, I, I need to make an invention that nobody's thought of before. No, right. you can you can do a lawn and landscape business. Everybody's done it. But as long as you, if you want to be the best in your little circle, like, define what your circle is. Okay, I'm charging cheap rates and I'm helping out the elderly. You know what I mean? Like, right. If I feel like it's niche. easier to master one thing. Than to say, okay, I'm going to cut grass for the elderly, but then I'm also going to do, like, commercial right. clients. At least and, start with one thing, and then yeah. you can always branch off. But if you try to do ten things at once and in business model, yeah, you're just going to fail. you got to focus on but one. But on the other hand, you stay, let's say you're standing on one pillar, which is your nine-to-five job. Yeah. And you get fired or you quit or whatever happens. Yeah. Well, then you fall. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Exactly. You know Griffin Touches? 
No. Ella Touch's brother. He's a senior at Germantown, and since sophomore year, he's owned his own lawn and landscape business. Good for he's, him. He's got a couple trucks. I was messaging him on Instagram. He's got a couple. We should get him on the podcast. Sure. That'd be kind of cool. But no, he's got a couple trucks, like F-250s and that kind of stuff. He's got a skid steer he bought. He's got That's a zero-turn lawnmower. He's got business insurance. He's got a... This is a new Quick Trip up here, actually. Newer. Newer. This is... Have you guys noticed the newer designs of Quick Trip? They're looking sleek. It's kind of like the newer designs of Fleet Farm. Well, my buddy was... Oh, we got to go over the YouTube comments, too. Maybe we'll do that in our like actual regularly scheduled program yeah. podcast. But... um. Anyways, no, he's got all, like a shop and everything, and it's pretty cool. Like high school kids, like I'm like he's doing more than it's it's hard to like compare yourself to one another, but like he's doing really good. He's he's doing more than I am. You know what I mean? It's just wow, is it packed? Holy jeepers, gripes all right. To wrap up this segment of the podcast, everybody, we're approaching Joe Mama's, and it's Saturday night. Uh, it's, it's actually not as. It's pretty packed. I don't know if we'll get a seat at the bar. We might have to get a table. But I, we'd probably have better luck getting a bar than we're going to do a review of this place, of we're, our food. Follow, so follow us on TikTok. We're going to yeah. do it on TikTok, a TikTok review, like certain different food items that we got. And, of course, we're going in our best dress uniforms. I got just, the, I'm actually wearing yeah. a – I'm cheating. I'm wearing a different bar's sweatshirt right now. But, no, we got the high vis on, the work boots, you know, working on Saturdays. Yep. Overtime hours. Overtime hours for bullshit pay. Well, pretty good pay. <laughs> All right. So well, we'll do a review, guys, uh, and let you know what we think of Joe Mamas. Yeah, and uh, thank you for listening to this podcast. This, this is just like a little teaser episode. Well, th- well, this is... I thought this was just a first segment. Oh, yeah. I guess we're, we're going to continue we're this. Gonna, after we're done, we're going to yeah. do this. We're going to have to turn on the cargo lamp or something. Or you or guys... We'll finish just... it at the house. I don't know. Or we'll figure guys... it out. But we'll let you guys know. So, uh... We'll see you soon. All right, take it easy. We'll be back in a flash. Welcome to uh, the review of Joe Mama's. It was delicious. It was very good, very good. What did you get to eat, Ben? I had the Mac Attack burger. What's all on that burger? So I think it's a third pound Angus beef uh, with toasted bun, obviously. They actually have like their logo pressed into the bun. Yeah. It's pretty cool. So uh yeah and then it has mac and cheese obviously. What kind of like what kind of uh noodle is that? Is that like a it's big a swirly one? It's a I swirly know, noodle. I don't know what the correct name for them are, but Yeah. No, those are good. No, they're good. And then it had uh some good bacon on there too. Thick cut? No, not like yours. Yours is just regular plain but, sliced. Yeah. It was really good though. Maple. Mac and, and did the mac and cheese fall off the burger at all? Oh yeah. Oh, it's falling right off. That's a good burger. And I got some fries this time. Usually I go with the tater tots, but, you know, fries at ranch. And they had some good ranch, probably a house-made ranch. I'll, I'll rate their ranch. Their ranch was a solid 8.2. You could tell it was house-made. Oh, yeah. Because it comes in the little plastic dishes, you know. Right, right. But, uh, yeah, it's a beautiful day out here, actually. It really is. Wonderful day. We got the sun out. It's like 77 degrees. Very warm. Not used to this. Definitely not in April. Definitely not an April kind of feel. We're uh, we're doing some yard work outside. We did some yard work earlier today. Yeah. And then we're going to do some work on my truck later. And uh, you guys let us know what you guys kind of want to see. But for the YouTube, we're going to try doing something different where we're going to like record actual YouTube videos and post them. Yeah, so we're, we're thinking of switching to one podcast a week and one YouTube video a week. So Because uh, I guess we just kind of realized that we like sitting here, but we're always doing something, so we can talk about it, but we can also record it. And right, post it right. And Get a little more proactive, you know. And that might be a little bit more interesting. Get in that, front of the horse. That way we're also being productive, too, while we're doing right, this. Right, right, yeah. But, uh, no, so for, for my meal, I had the mac and cheese of the week, which I didn't even know they did. This is my first time there. Yeah, they did. And that. when I walked in, I like I didn't really know what to expect. I thought it was going to be more of a restaurant, but the bar wraps around basically the whole thing. Correct. edge three quarters of the restaurant of yeah the restaurant there's probably a good what do you say like 20 25 25 at least 25, 25 or 30 25 bar seats. seats and then they had some obviously dining seats and whatever but no that it was it was really good there the, the bartenders were friendly they were yeah, attentive cool dudes. they came right up to us and uh anyways i got the mac and cheese of the week and uh it had mac and cheese and then two big chicken breasts on it crispy chicken breasts and then i had thick cut bacon like two logs of thick cut bacon yeah and then it had some onion rings 
and the bacon and the chicken breast were had a hunt a Jack Daniels honey glaze on them. It was pretty good. The mac and like the actual mac and cheese, it was good, but it was just kind of like a filler. Like I think that you're getting that meal more for the bacon and the chicken and the mac and cheese. It's right, just like a, right. a dressing, if that makes sense. But uh, it was it was a really big portion. I could barely finish it. Two didn't like, finish it. I didn't. I took I had to take some home. Yeah. I felt emasculated. But uh, no, I had to like two big chicken breasts. You know, I thought I was only gonna get one, but I guess I'd rate the whole meal overall. It was twenty five dollars, right? I think so. You still owe me five dollars. That's right. Yeah. And All the, the stuff I do. The bartender was kind of messed up. It's not his fault, but uh, was that one half price or free? Yeah, he gave yeah. me a free one. Yeah. Anyways, um, the other two though weren't. But what was I saying? I, mean, I think I'd rate overall for the price. It it fits the price if that makes sense. For like twenty five dollars, you're getting a twenty five dollar meal. But it's not like it's like oh, it's amazing and it's only ten dollars. You know, it's like yeah, no, it's it was it's just solid portions. It's just, like it's the a portions solid meal. there are insane. Like I I felt like so bloated after because I finished almost all my food. I just had a little bit of fries left, but they gave me probably. I don't, just a shit ton of fries. Yeah, and they were they looked like good fries. They were too. good. They were crude crisp. You know, we didn't get the cheese curds because we knew that we were gonna get the mac and cheese. But uh, yeah, yeah, and we were doing that. And they they got good wings there too. I I'd say that's what I heard. Uh, Bogies is my favorite, but I guess what's that place with the fire truck in Richfield? Uh, Freeze Lake Pub. Freeze Lake. I've never those. had their wings, but everyone says they're they're the best in the state. So yeah. we're gonna have to check that out. No, oh, yeah, I could. But, we should uh, do a cooking segment. Oh, that would be a disaster. That's not a bad idea. Like we oh. get like a little grill, you know. You blue, hungry? Blue collar, blue collar food. Let's do it. All right. Well, stay tuned for uh, an upcoming YouTube video. Cooking, cooking with Ben and Mark. Cooking with Ben and Mark. Yeah, that sounds, sounds good. Like I like that. That is. That is not, we could do like a. Oh, and we're also we're in the works of getting out merch. I know we talked about it. Yeah. The ball is rolling. And we're going to start, we're going to do like a segment on charcuterie boards. We're going to make them and sell them uh, for one of our YouTube videos a week. Yeah. We're going to do like a tutorial. Oh, this is how we make it. And then we're going to sell right. those. We're going to do like a limited number. Everyone's going to be different, but it's something that you can use and it supports the podcast. And then yeah. we're going to get just some basic t-shirts and like some hats and maybe some sweatshirts. But we're going to do like it with our logo, probably on the front and in the back, we're going to have like one of our sayings or like we'll see, a, yeah, we'll see what, we'll see what we come like out that. with. Yeah. But uh, yeah, no. What would you rate? Well, back to Joe Mama's. What would you rate the entire restaurant? Your service, your food, the so, timing. I think that it depends on what kind of restaurant you're looking for. Like when I go to a bar, I like I don't mind dive bars, but when I'm looking for a bar, I like a big. I like it kind of darker in there. I like like old country playing. I like. I don't think this was much of a dive bar. No, this is more of a higher class, not a high well, class it's restaurant. Just more but of it's, like it's a. More of a I don't know how it's you would a, describe it. It's a hybrid, it. I guess. It's a hybrid. Yeah, that's a good way to describe yeah, it. Yeah, a little hybrid, but uh, real good people there at Joe Mama's. So what's yeah. your final score? My final score would be of the entire experience. Entire experience. The entire experience. I rated a a 7 out of 10. Okay, okay. That's, the, not, the a, that's food, not a the, bad. The food was decent. The food was good. It was tasty. The service was good. You know, not like it wasn't anything that like really jumped out at me. Like, oh my gosh, this is crazy. But it was better than average. Yeah, which, I mean, if we're going on that scale, five is average. I was going to say, yeah, like if we're going to a Culver's, it'd be like a three or a two out of ten. You know what I, I mean? I wouldn't say that. You go. You have some low ratings. Culver's is... I'm a harsh critic. Yeah, I mean, it depends what Culver's you go to, but I mean... I mean, Culver's good, but like you can't tell me that... You, you, I mean, like, if you, you can't, can't really compare the two. You, yeah, you can't compare it on a restaurant scale you have to compare it on a fast food scale culver's is a 9.8 out of 10 well then what's another restaurant we could compare it to joe mama's uh i don't know other bars other bar food another supper club the jackson pub it's better than the jackson pub i mean i would agree yeah jackson pub is a lot smaller jackson pub's like a four out of ten yeah well we didn't really eat there so no, well, we uh, could have ate some jackson pizzas yeah they just said frozen pizzas some, no, some jack pizzas yeah but i mean that's more of a dive bar you know Oh yeah, you can't get it all, Mark. No, you gotta you gotta be very picky with what you're doing. Yeah. Well, uh, oh, we even say, oh, uh, well, we're in the garage today. It's a nice day. Yeah, we just uh, wanted to switch it up. You know, it's 75 degrees out. We're so. just kind of chilling, looking at the birds. 
Going to work bergs. on my truck later. All the bergs. Got to hit all the bergs. Got to hit all the bergs. Cedarburg. Cedarburg. That's all the bergs. <laughs> That's all two of them. <laughs> but, uh, oh, do you have your phone on you? I do. What do you want me to look do, up? Do you want to pull up the... Um, Oh, the YouTube the comments. U- the YouTube comment because we've gotten a couple on there, and I think we gotten some like Spotify. Yeah. I know somebody commented about the Costco, and I know he said that. Yeah, they, that was a while ago. No, I, know, I, I, know I, that I addressed that, didn't I? I don't remember. And I know that he said that they have the same stuff across the U.S., which I didn't know. And then, uh, yeah, we've been doing pretty good on views. We've noticed that the charcuterie board one has gotten a, a lot more views than our usual videos so that's what we're trying to think here is like oh if we're actually doing something in the videos right that would be better but uh mm. yeah we've gotten some good feedback we're like we're just two normal guys but uh what would you do you want to rate wisconsin gas stations yeah let's let me do that let's do the comments first okay we're gonna pull up the comments real quick once all right so for what are you doing here? How, how long does this take? I'm not good at this. View all. No, just there's a comments tab on the bottom. Oh, well, there is. No. Yeah. Oh, I was on. I wasn't on YouTube for studio. I wasn't on the YouTube studio. Okay. All right. So Mark's truck problems, and so our latest episode, episode eight. Someone said, "Great episode." It was a tell. I can't read, dude. Here, let me do this. Yeah. Uh, great episode, Tallahassee Phil. Do you know him? I don't think I know him. Well, thank you, Tallahassee Phil. Uh, <laughs> we appreciate. We appreciate you thinking it was a great episode. Um, three days ago. Bring the old SBC to Benny's garage. I'll get that thing all tuned up. What's SBC? Chevy. No S. S Chevy starts with a C. SBC. So, Bennett. I don't know what SBC... What were we talking about? Cars? Could it be my Chevy? It could be the truck? It could be your Audi? It could be... I don't know. SBC. All right, Benny. Um, or Bennett. I know, that's my friend. Uh, <laughs> SBC. What is it? Am I reading stupid right now? What is he talking about? I have no idea. And then he I'm said... I'm at a loss. Be... B once green FN. Beyonce? Beyonce? Beyonce green FN, Bennett also said. Thank you, Bennett. Thank you, Bennett. I don't know what that means, but thank you. Words of encouragement. (laughs) But, uh. Um. uh, Beautiful weather out here today. Yeah, so that's our comments. Uh, Just, we're going to put up a poll about uh, our merchandise on this episode. If you would want to. And just be honest, would you buy it? And the, like, yeah. we can we can ship it to you. I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna have to figure that out. Well, yeah, we're just gonna have to charge Maybe. shipping. Yeah, we're gonna have to because we're gonna have to go through UPS or something like that. Yeah, so like, we don't mind shipping it to you if you're somewhere else, but like, if you're near us, just come pick it up or a meet and greet. <laughs> <laughs> oh my something. gosh, that's not a bad. We should have a brat fry. That's a good idea. No, we could do it in the ambulance. Take the ambulance and just park it in a oh. garage or in a parking lot somewhere. Ambulance brat fry. And then we could hand out little business cards. Hey, check out our podcast, Local Wisconsinites. You know, get some merch. That's a good idea. All right, let's do that. Let's do that one of these when it gets warmer out. Yeah. Oh, you know, I want to make a margarita machine. Have you seen those? Margarita machine. A margarita oh. machine? My dad actually made Isn't one. That but just a blender? Just settle down. It's a, it's a way cooler. <laughs> it's... um. So you take, you know, like one of those tubs that you put drinks in or balls in, those big blue tubs. Tumblers, yeah. No, like with the um, rope handles on the side. You know what I mean? On either side, the rope handles, and then it's like a big four-foot-tall tub, like this big, that you put like basketballs in and stuff. Yeah, I don't know. Anyways, you take one of those. You take one of those, you flip it, you take one of those, you flip it over, you put a garbage disposal up the bottom. Then on the top, you take one of those like igloo blue coolers like the little funnels sure you know? sure you cut out the funnel you drill a hole up top and a hole in the middle and then what you do is in on the inside of this cooler you pour ice 
you well okay let me let's uh, slow down you put the garbage disposal in the bottom you got the big stand-up water cooler the garbage disposal is in the bottom of there then the output of the garbage disposal you have a pipe coming out the front with a nozzle on it and then you have a clear pvc going up and back into the um into the cauldron you could call it and then what you do is then inside the big cooler you pour ice you put margarita mix you could make smoothies whatever and then you turn on the garbage disposal and it blends it and then it sucks it down you know and then it shoots it back up big and, margarita guy and then what you can do is on the nozzle you can open it and then it shoots it out but that i'm gonna do that for my business for like smoothies and whatever but like that like then you could charge a good amount of money you know what i mean you're uh, you're very knowledgeable about margarita makers mark i didn't know that about you that's a new side that's coming it's kind of cool like but like you think about it like if you make it in a blender it's like okay that's cool you know it's a margarita but if you make it in like a big contraption i bet you could charge a lot more for because it. it's urban exactly it's like holy cow like people like look at it and they're like what is that thing oh my gosh I, it's like I've this never is seen why i'm before. charging you ten dollars for a margarita well it's true you know what i mean or fifteen dollars or whatever you want to charge them i don't know well you know what i mean whatever but, uh, when the price is right the shoe fits what does that even mean i don't know <laughs> it's you heard it here first folks what are you so what are you looking forward to most this summer Making money. It's all about the money. Money, 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 money. What about you, Mark? I'd say just being warm out and doing outside things. Oh, uh, that's fun, I guess. What, um, so is it, it's April, it's the middle of April right now. Yes, it's the 14th. For 15th, 14th. Or something like it's that. It's middle of April. May, June is kind of like the actual start of summer. So we got like one more month, I'd say, before it's like consistently warm out. Exactly. Like it's in the let's, 60s here. Let's check out the weather for next week in southeastern Wisconsin. A little weather episode. We're meteorologists here. <laughs> meteorologists here on the bellied up. Or no. We don't, <laughs> get, we don't get paid like them, though. That's for sure. So, yeah, it's 77 right now. It's pretty good out. Gonna Tomorrow get a nice is tan. 69. Oh it's gonna, shit! It's gonna kind of drop a little bit. Tuesday and Wednesday's bit. chances of rain. It's not good. We do need the rain, though. No, we don't. We just had a shit ton of rain. I know, but now it's drying out. <laughs> we don't need it wet again. I'm not trying to wear my muck boots for another five days in a row. And then yeah, we got fifties. So it's gonna be consistent. I mean, I I like fifties in work. I working, like I like working 50s, in fifties. It's the best. It yeah. really is because. You don't really break too much of a sweat. You can still get a little tan if it's sunny out. I got a little, a little bit, but I got my back and my neck mainly. Yeah, but uh, no, that's really good working weather. Well, yeah, there you go, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed that episode. Enjoy this, uh, this nice weather we're having because you know it's not going to stay for long. Exactly. It's like one day there's going to be a lot of wind. The next day it's going to be cold, rainy, sunny. Like today is a perfect summer day. Get on, get on the boat today, guys. Get on the boat. Go to your go local fishing. Go to your local quick trip. Pick you up some ice cream. Some, some for reals. Get some, uh, get some good old some red smoothies, worms. Some smoothies. Red worms. Yeah. Some some rain wigglers. What do they call them? Night squigglers. Crawlers. Night crawlers. No, you call them squigglers. Squigglers. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> All right. Thanks All right, for watching the Benchmark Podcast Radio. All right, you guys take it easy now. Benchmark Podcast Radio. On the Benchmark Podcast Radio.